Grenada is home to one of the region's key nesting sites for the endangered leatherback sea turtles at Livera Beach, which has become a sanctuary in the north of the island. This species produces over 100 eggs during the nesting season. To raise awareness, Sanders Grenada Resort has partnered with Ocean Spirits to provide support in monitoring the activities of the leatherback and hawksbill sea turtles throughout the nesting season. Dillian Forrester is the public relations manager at Sanders Grenada Resort. We provided financial backing to Ocean Spirits uh, to reach the community, the direct community in the area of Levera, of the community, fishermen, just engaging as many persons as possible who live within the space, and of course, all of us who uh, inhabit an island, uh, just to raise awareness and uh, keep track so that we can gather that data to guide us on what we can do to continue to support uh, the organization and biodiversity and the health of our environment that we rely on. Kate Charles, a marine biologist attached to Ocean Spirits, believes that the leatherback and hawksbill turtles are critically endangered. Yes, yeah, so both leatherback and hawksbill turtles and also greens are found here in Grenada. Um, and all three are on the ICUN red list. So all three are considered um, endangered um, at varying levels. So you have leatherbacks, which are considered vulnerable. Um, you have greens, which are considered endangered. And then you have hawksbills, which we should be most concerned about because they're considered critically endangered at the moment. Here, so we have sort of three main pillars. Um, that we work under. So we have research, conservation, and then our outreach. Um, so a lot of our time is spent doing research. Um, so we're collecting the vital data um, to assess populations, um, and then we can share this within the local communities. A lot of our community work that we do is based at sort of with kids, um, whether it's just within communities or working with local schools. We have environmental science clubs. We have summer camp programs. We run marine junior ranger programs and then we have sort of awareness days or we'll invite a school to beach, visit the beach at night um, as part of their learning process so we don't believe in just staying in the classroom a lot of our work is getting kids out into the field charles says the turtles do encounter challenges from time to time but most of which occur outside of grenada sure so they're slightly different depending on the species leatherback turtles their main threat right now. Um, their numbers are declining, um, not just here in Grenada, but throughout the sort of the whole Caribbean region. We're all seeing a decline in leatherback nesting. A lot of the threats that they face are actually occurring outside of Grenada. So it's long line fishing. Um, you know, they're coming, getting tangled up. They're drowning on their migrations to the nesting sites. Our main concern for Grenada is the size of our nesting beaches. Our beaches are getting smaller. And there's left fewer and fewer nesting beaches in Grenada left that are actually suitable. Leatherback see quite a large, wide beach. But he does see a sea turtle, um, whether it's stranded, injured, or just nesting, or if somebody's looking for some guidance, we do have a 24-hour hotline. So people can call us, and we can either send somebody to assist or provide guidance over the phone with what's best to do next. Our number is 534-4324, and we're also on WhatsApp. Ocean Spirits research team recently updated their first aid training and review their latest turtle research protocols to advance conservation efforts. And they've also taken steps to enhance capacity through internships for six university students studying marine biology. Fisher folk from local communities were also exposed to turtle conservation practices and trained to become researchers. This year's research marks the 24th year of sea turtle conservation efforts. Christina John, GBN News.